A teenager attacked by an officer at the Warren Jail is going on the offensive, taking the city to court for tens of millions of dollars. Thanks for being with us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. Officer Matthew Rodriguez fired from Warren Police this week for that incident in what the police commissioner called a clear and obvious decision, but that is far from the end of the story. A new lawsuit says the city should pay, arguing the other officers seen in the video were not trying to stop the attack, but were instead part of it. Here to help us sort out the claims is Victor Williams. Victor, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Kimberly and Devin. We all knew that a lawsuit was potentially coming down the pipeline, but we had no idea it would be coming out this quickly. Not only is the city of Warren and the officer who is allegedly responsible for the attack listed as defendants, but the other two officers that were in that room as well. The officer said, hurry up and take the picture, you little And he said, I ain't no just 14 days after the now viral moment of an officer assaulting a 19 year old carjacking suspect, a lawsuit has officially been filed against the city of Warren on behalf of Jaquan Smith and Figer Law. He's about double the size of him. The 30 page complaint is now seeking $50 million in damages. Jaquan's aunt Tanisha Banks is just happy he's still here. The first thing that ran across my mind. Did he survive? Commissioner Bill Dwyer commenting on how quickly the lawsuit was filed. Why do they have to rush to doing that? I wish I could have got it filed sooner, but uh, uh, we did it as fast as we possibly could. The big question is whether or not Jaquan received any injuries in the assault. He was treated at the hospital for his injuries and he was cleared of no injuries. He is still, as of this day, having issues with uh, head injuries. He's having headaches, dizziness, nausea consistent with uh, uh, traumatic brain injury. Another question is whether the other two officers involved actually intervened. They were actors. They were part of this brutality and they will be held responsible as well. They didn't see what Roderick, the officer had done at the beginning. They came in when he was down on the ground and they don't know. So but when uh, the officer started banging his head, that's when they said enough is enough and they reported immediately to their supervisor. Either way, the now fired officer Matthew Rodriguez has been charged with misdemeanor assault. It also turns out he has a history of alleged excessive force. There was a, a lawsuit against him, there was, and it, it stemmed from one occurrence with two different plaintiffs. One of them was settled, one of them was dismissed on qualified immunity. And Jaquan is still behind bars, but of course, we're going to keep our eyes very closely attached to what happens as this lawsuit unfolds. And Warren tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4. Okay, Victor, thank you.